Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video of Facebook Ads course, I'm going to teach you how to create Facebook sales campaign. And this is going to be a proper step-by-step -step tutorial. So stay tuned and watch video till the end. So let's just directly jump into my Facebook Ads account. So guys, as you can see, I'm in my Facebook ads account. Now I'm going to create a sales campaign. And for that, obviously I have to click on this create button. And after scroll a little bit down here, I see this sales option. Select this one, hit the continue button and we'll be into our campaign creation process, right? So first of all, here we have to name the campaign, whatever the name you want to give to this campaign, you can give it. As you can see, I'm writing here sales campaign and the date I'm writing here, right? And after scroll a little bit down here, if you have any special category, you can select, otherwise you can leave it. And these are the special categories, credit, employment, housing, and social issues, right? So if your ads fall under these, but these are not basically for sales. So just leave this behind. And now let me go to campaign details. In campaign details, we have buying type. So buying type, we do have only one option, which is, auction and campaign objective is office obviously sales and here we do have one more option which is catalog so if you want to run your catalog ads then you can turn this option on otherwise you can turn this option off and there's one more thing to create a catalog ad first you have to create catalogs right and for that you have to go to commerce manager and create catalogs in this particular account, we don't have any catalog. So we are going to use manual uploading. We are going to use uh, manual images and ad copies, right? We are not using catalogs. Now, after scroll a little bit down here, we do have one option, which is campaign spending limit. So this is the option which helps you to set spending limit on a campaign level, right? So you just have to click on edit button, add campaign spending limit. And here you can add the spending limit. Right now, I am not adding any spending limit. Then we do have A-B testing. So if you want to do A-B testing, you just have to turn this option on and this ad will be created as A, right? And after the creation of this ad, you have to create one more ad, which will be known as B. And then Facebook will test both the ads with different audiences so that you can find that which one is working for you or not, right? So right now I'm turning off this off and then we do have advantage campaign budget also known as CBO, campaign budget optimization. If you turn this option on, you get campaign budgeting option. And we do have two options. Basically, it is daily budget and lifetime budget. So whatever the option suits you, you can go with that. Let's say I'm going with daily budget and I'm selecting 800 rupees, which is around $10 a day. This is my daily budget. If I want, I can change it to lifetime budget as well. And there's a one benefit of using lifetime budget if you want to specifically schedule your ad campaign let's say you just want to run your campaign on monday mornings and tuesday evenings basically you want to schedule your campaign on an hourly basis so for that you have to specifically choose lifetime budget when you choose lifetime budget and if you go to ad set level wait let me after selecting the lifetime budget you have to do one more thing which is in c option you have to turn this option on run ads on schedule right so when you turn this option on and if you go to sales ad set level as you can see here you will be able to see this option right this is basically ad scheduling so here you can set that let's say you just want to run your ads on monday morning right and tuesday evening like this you can do and on wednesday whatever the uh, hours you want to choose you can use it right so this is what you get if you select the lifetime budget and turn this option on right so this is what the campaign level was now we are into our ad set level in ad set level obviously again we have to name the ad set so i'm adding sales ad set and here just the date right after this in conversion 
what property you want to choose we do have only one option right now and here we do have two more options right so we are going with website obviously and here performance goals number uh, maximize number of conversions the second one is not available because we haven't verified the account or the business that's why so we are going with maximize number of conversions here we do have demo pixel and conversion event what will be the conversion event here you have to choose the event so i'm selecting purchase as a conversion event right also here's one more issue that the setup is uh, the track tracking basically the conversion is not set up yet so you have to do it using your pixel code in your website and basically it is the pixel code is not properly activated right now that's why anyways if you scroll a little bit down here we see one more option which is cost per result goal and it is again not available because our bidding strategy if you want to use it go back to your campaign level and change the bidding strategy right show more options in show more options we get two more options the first one is attribution setting seven days after clicking or one day after viewing so this is the attribution setting if you want you can change it and then here we do have one more option which is when you get charged so it is by default set on impression basis so yeah and here is the dynamic creative option if you want to turn this option on then facebook will do the creative work for you right but i don't want to turn this on i want to do manually all the things right here we do have scheduling option here you can basically schedule your campaign from start to end date whatever the start date and the end date you want to add add it here right then here as i've already shown you add scheduling option and before that we do have one more option over here which is uh, add spend ad set spending limit so here you can set your ad set spending limit earlier we were getting the campaign level spending limit and here we get the spending limit on a ad set basis so you can set the spending limit here as well right and then here we also uh, get one more option which is whatever the time zone you want to choose so that on the basis of time zone this configuration can work right so you do have you do have two option which is use viewers time zone or use this ad accounts time zone so whatever the time zone you want to choose you can use it let's say the viewer or the your target audience is from another country so you have to select the time zone properly right accordingly choose the time zone after that if i scroll a little bit down here we do have audience option where you can set your custom audience lookalike audience i've already shown you how to use these options right so i'm not going to show you again and again you can use your lookalike audience or you can use your custom audience whatever the option you have you can use it right and if you don't know how to use custom audience or how to create custom or lookalike audience you can watch our previous video in this particular playlist itself right just go to the description box below and there you'll get a link to the playlist after that we do have location option if you click on edit you can add multiple locations multiple areas cities or you can even target on a postal code basis right let's say i've selected india so i've selected the whole country right now in this case let's say i want to exclude few things or exclude few cities so for that i have to click on exclude here I have to change this one into exclude exclude and here i have to search the cities or the areas which i want to exclude let's say i want to exclude andaman and nicobar right this is andaman and nicobar this is also a state in india so i have excluded this location right so this is how you can do it after scrolling a little bit down here you can see one more option which is add bulk location so if you want to add location in bulk let's say you want to add uh, cities in bulk so you can select the cities or the states and here you can add all the cities one by one you just have to separate them using the comma as you can see in the example right so this is how you can do your bulk location targeting then we do have age bracket whatever the age bracket is suitable for your business you have to select that right so in my case let's say it is a coffee product which is i'm selling from our website which is offer bazaar dot store right so i'm opening this i'm going to groceries 
and maybe I could find something. Yeah, so let's use assorted coffee. So this is the product I have using. I'm you using to promote, right? So this 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 is a product basically which I'm going to promote, right? So in that case, the age bracket would be fine, eighteen to sixty five plus. If I have any previous data, so that I know which is the best perfect age bracket for my product, I can use th that age bracket. Otherwise, I'm using this one, right? After that, gender preferences. It is still again totally based on your uh, business. Depend on your business nature. If you sell only sell the product which can be sold to only men's, so you have to select men's, right? So this is how you can do. After that, detail targeting. In detail targeting, you can do your targeting on a demographical basis, interest basis, and behavioral basis. So you have to just click on browse, and here you get the targeting options. If you click on this, it expands, it expands, and here are the options. Right, all the options are here. As you can see, right. So if you still, if you don't know how to do your detail targeting, you can watch our previous videos. So either you can go with your custom targeting, or you can use the detail targeting option. After that, we do have the language option. Your audience, whatever they speak, uh, whatever the language they speak, you can choose this here. Otherwise, it is by default set on all languages. And here we do have two options: advantage plus placement. This is for basically for your ads, right? And manual placement. So if you go with advantage plus placement, it is basically a pretty shorted option where you don't get any customization or manual things. Facebook's algorithm, Facebook's machine learning automatically find the best placements for your business or for your product time and show the products there or the show the show the ads there right so this is what advantage plus placement is but if you choose manual placement if you uh, know that what you are doing if you know the data previous data if you have your previous data you can do your manual placements as well right here you can uh, select the devices as you can see mobile and the desktop and then you can select the platforms as well where you get four options facebook insta audience network and messenger if you scroll a little bit down here you get the placement options where you want to show your ad on which platform on which placement right now if i scroll a little bit down here i do get one more option show more options if you click on this again here you get few more options like uh, if i click on edit here you get the operating system basis basically you can select the android devices only or the ios devices only and let's say if you just want to show your ads to the devices which are connected to wi-fi then you can turn this option on right after this we get few more options over here you can explore it by yourself and after all the customizations you just hit the next button and you'll be into your ad level right as you can see again here we have to name our ad so i'm just adding sales ad and the date over here after this uh, identity you have to select your facebook and insta account facebook page and instagram account right in ad setup we don't have catalog option over here so we have to do manual uploads right but if you have catalog option you can choose it and this way you don't have to upload the products or the upload the images manually right now we want to sell this product right this is assorted coffee so what i'm doing is i'm going to download the image so that i can use this image save it let's go to ads now i'm doing the manual upload as you can see and the format will be single image or the video right if you want you can go with carousel or the collection as well but I'm going with single image or video. Here I have to add the media. So I'm adding the image. I'm clicking on upload. And go to download. And here I get this option, this image, right? I've selected this one. It is getting processed. Yeah, hit the next button. And this is how my ad is going to look on different screens. Right? If you want, 
if you have different images for this placement or this placement if you have created ones so you can what you can do is you can just replace the image with that um, the customized one right now hit the next button and click on done it will be added into your ad as you can see here right after this you have to add the primary text or the headline so in primary text i am just copying the demo content from here copy it and paste it here but obviously whenever you are creating the uh, primary basically the ad copy you have to write it properly right it should be appealing it should be attractive so that the user can take a time to read the ad copy and get converted i'm copying again a sorted coffee and in here i'm pasting it as a headline and here in description whatever the description you want to add about the product you can add it but for now i'm just adding the emojis so i'm just adding star one two three four five so five star i've added five star it looks basically it gives a review kind of thing as you can see the description is showing here and it looks like that this product has five star rating so you can do that as well also you can add few extra headline and descriptions so that facebook can check whatever the face uh, headline and description is working for you and in call to action obviously i'm going to select the buy now or the shop now button yeah let's select the shop now button here after selecting the shop now button here you have to select the destination url so this is going to be our destination url because i want my uh, customers the target audience to land on this page and they can directly purchase the product right so i'm copying this link pasting here and here we do have one more option which is display link so this is the link where your users will be landed at this is the link which your users will going to see right so here you can create a simple link like this let me copy it paste it here something like this right so that they don't get confused now here you get few more options like uh, any add-ons you want to add like call whatsapp instant experience or facebook event if it is applicable with your business you can add it otherwise you can leave it right after this you can set up your tracking your pixels and all and you can set your url parameters and now everything is done you just have to hit the publish button and your ads are going to live so this is how you can create your sales campaign and one more thing the another way to create the campaign is using catalog i hope you know how to create catalog basically you just have to go to commerce manager and in commerce manager you can create your catalog first and then you can use the catalog campaigns right and here i'm assuming that you know how to create catalogs if you don't know how to create catalog you can comment down below i'll create video on that as well now with that said i hope you like the video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video share this playlist with your needy friends who want to learn facebook ads facebook marketing with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye